guys, so I decided to come back on YouTube after two years later or mas bien dicho a couple pounds later. <laughs> but the turtleneck does not do the favor. <laughs> um, I'm actually on my way to my mom's and dad's shop because um, I don't like microwave, like microwaving, whatever the como se dice. Um, I don't like putting the baby's bottle in the microwave because I feel like it will taste nasty for him. And I'll say that's just in my fucking head. I'm weird like that. Even with my cup of noodles, I cannot put them in the motherfucking microwave. That is my pet peeve. Oh shit, se cayeron. <laughs> that is my biggest pet peeve is to put them in the microwave. Because it tastes fucking nasty to me, so it will probably taste nasty to him, you feel me? So I'm going to play even. So, <clears throat> I, will, I have a really busy day today. Um... I am gonna go to my store, but I'm gonna go later. I'm gonna get my nails done because the bitch looks like a guy, and I need to get my pedicure because that's my thing, girl. I love my, I like to keep my toes fresh. But about the the nails, I'm not really a big nail person. I was back in the day. Now I'm not really because go. Uh, what the fuck, bitch? Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm not really a nail person. And then I got my nails done way back in fucking um November. In the beginning of November. And I got in a fight. So my fucking nail broke off and shit. So I had to take off my whole nails. It was just a big progress. So there's a fucking cop and I don't wear my seatbelt. That's one bad thing about me. So you guys should stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy my YouTube videos. Like I said, I'm gonna go down. You hear my baby? Then I'm gonna saludos. Bitch, I'm dead. Okay, um, hopefully this shit does not fucking fall because that shit will suck ass and that's the only placement <clears throat> that it's good for. <laughs> you know what? Ah, oh, fuck, la <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Maldita tos. Okay, so I arrived at Starbucks because you guys know me, maldita droga. Hi. Hello. Can I get your guys' toasted white chocolate frat, please? Yeah, what size? Can I get a grande? Okay. And that should be it. Thank, Thank you. Um, fuck, se me cayó. Normalmente cuando lo agarro, I just say the one with pink sprinkles, but since I'm since I'm showing you guys, I'm gonna be a little bit more professional. <laughs> um, so I've been the fuck, me lo bien gordita, no? So I've been um drinking this drink right here for the past like two months, a month since it came out. Yeah, like two months, and I could say it's really fucking addicting. What, baby? Let me show you how a mom life is. <laughs> Happen. This be me all the time, you guys. Like I be in the in the freeway, <laughs> manejando and fucking like reaching over here for the baby. But you get used to it after a while. To be honest, I got used to it. But it's I mean it is what it is. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. This is my little baby. This is my little road dog right now. Right now, for like the rest of my life. <laughs> Five twenty-five. Wow, baby. Lately, he's been fuzzing, but it's because he's been teething. So homeboy be a little bit like crazy. Wow, papa. And then he cries con su teta. Se cae, so I wonder where he gets that from because you know, so not cry, baby. <laughs> Petty? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. I don't know what to do. It's been a long time. I remember when I used to vlog two years ago. I was a mocosa. I was like 18. I was 18. Living my best life. I was a loquia. I remember. So, like, I used to vlog whatever the fuck. But now it's, like, I don't want to vlog whatever the fuck. You get me? I want to be interesting for you guys. But I'll be back. I'm about to... There's fucking, like, two cars ahead of me. 
525 try it you guys that shit's bomb it's like addicting it's una droga oh you know what i'm up next <clears throat> okay plebis let me show you guys hold on let me get the fuck out of here okay so this is my maldita droga que is my vicio like I want to say last week I got it two times two times in a fucking day that's fucking bad wait let me pass thank you cutie don't mind my ugly ass fucking window I have a habit I have a habit. I always had this habit since I was little. And that's why maybe like I like makeup and I have such a good talent with makeup because I like drawing. So like I always tag up my fucking window and shit. But you guys, we're gonna take it back. We went to the 562 Norwalk where I grew up at. <clears throat> where I grew up at and everybody in this hood gets their eyebrows done right here tell me not if you're from norwalk you know what's up <laughs> this brings back so many memories i always come here but then i stopped like for a year i would get them done like at ziba but bitch I'm talking about like 11 dollars uh, uh they'll still give me the discount because i used to work at the mall and i would bullshit like even after i opened up my own store i would like girl i would get the hookups at the mall <laughs> and so would the mall they know me I would get free pizza. I'll get the discounts. It's still this day. Till this day, I'll be like, I still work here. <laughs> Fuck. Huh? Well, let's be just scams. But this is where I grew up at. And everybody in the neighborhood gets their eyebrows. Okay, compa. We're not going to fit until you move. Thank you. Gracias. So, this be the spot. <laughs> right here okay so i just got done from the eyebrow place she did not let me record so i was like okay cool checking like i'm the, the fbi agent or da about to like regulate on her no <laughs> but it's cool um look at i didn't like my eyebrows look at this one like make it me orange like they're like total complete like i don't know can you see different i don't know why my eyebrows look light here when they're super dark. But I mean, it's cool, whatever. Puras fallas, pero está bien. As long as I know how to do my eyebrows, I know how to paint them on. But she never does my eyebrows like this. I wonder why the fuck this time. Look at it. Look at it. It's cool. So, <clears throat> this is how the nail shop looks. It's called White Diamond. Hopefully, my favorite of favorite is there. I love her and I know I'm her favorite client. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's really cool with me. So I'm gonna get a pedicure and my nails. A ver que color because you guys know I don't I don't get out of my fucking French tip or my fucking ombre, whatever it's called. Ves ni se tanto las uñas. No, but yeah, or maybe I'm gonna do like this baby blue kind of like this because um I got it when I was pregnant and it was so cute. When you find how do you have time to do the video? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm your favorite, huh? Yep. Yeah. I knew it. I was telling them earlier that I'm your favorite. You love me off of everybody yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What color? The same thing? Or should we do something different? Do something different? Why is the same all the time? You want to do the white powder? Mm, I don't know. Maybe color? I don't know. What do you think? You want a color or you want a powder? I think powder. Powder is better. Yeah, you wanna do? You wanna do like light pink, cappuccino? <laughs> what customer? She work at the bar. <laughs> she have, she get the nail done right. Long one like you usually have, right? Oh, uh -huh, like and I used to. I make the very thick with all the diamond thing, right? Like, the next day she work and I said, Why? What happened? You broke one nail? She said. Nothing left. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> she gonna fight too? Oh. <laughs> it's like that. Wasting money, huh? It's just yesterday. Uh, 
She said one of the girls at her work like steal her customer or whatever. She gets so steal her mad. customer. <laughs> yeah, she gets so mad. And she she started fighting. She started fighting. She's right here. I would have done the same. Let, Why should my client? <laughs> let me teach you the lesson. She let me did. teach you the lesson. Yeah. She said, let me fight with my long nails. <laughs> she pulled her hand something. And then she said, by the time she looked at her nail, nothing left. Nothing left. I know. It hurts too. It's painful. She said by the time she fighting, pull her hair thick, she don't feel nothing. But after she feel, oh, oh my god. Oh well, yeah, you don't feel nothing when you have that rush. <laughs> after it's where it hurts. Oh my god, this is so painful. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. You do such a good job, Amiga. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, that's right, you know her. Uh -huh. <laughs> How can you? I love it. What do you want to do? Because too late now. I'm not going to take it off for you. <laughs> so you, I better like it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I have no choice. Yeah. I beg you do it. <laughs> it's not because you want to do I it. I always trust you when I ask. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Okay, come on, now I'm saying what 2019 taught me is real love. Like, you know, like you will never know real love until you have a baby. And like just how you feel with him. I'm a mama bear, like I don't give a fuck what people say. I don't like when people like little stuff and molest that and I'm so overprotective about my baby. And I never thought it would be like this. But like I am, like it taught me real love. It taught me how to be a good mom because you know nobody's ready to be a mom. Nobody really knows how it's gonna be. How many fucking sleepless nights you don't fucking sleep? How fucking stressful it is changing your whole routine. Not caring for yourself no more how you used to. It's hard. So all my moms out there. I feel you and I appreciate you. If you don't have nobody telling you this shit, I'm telling you, girl. Because I know how it feels. And me, yo lo hago solita, you know? Like, yeah, I have my mom and dad. Sometimes they, they take care of him. Like, like for... for, for no puedo hablar. Por un ejemplo. For next... For... I don't know how to say it in fucking English. I'm sorry. Por un ejemplo. The other day, I didn't want to leave him, like... Like, no say it's just like that mom. Like, you don't want to leave him. So I was like, you know what? I have my shop. Nobody's going to tell me shit if I bring my baby. Oh, girl. That was my worst fucking experience ever. Let me tell you what happened. I brought my baby to work. He was cool for my, with my first client. Girl, my, my second client pulled up. Bro, he was acting such a fool. He was crying and crying. So I was just like, oh my God, why are you crying? You know, like, and when I would carry him, and I was just like, a, sh sh, you know, and give him his bottle. He didn't want his bottle. He had put TV. He didn't want TV. He didn't want his toys. He just wanted me to carry him. And I was just like, oh my God, and my client, good thing that my client carried him. You know, like, I was just like stressed out. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. You know, it's hard. <laughs> so I was like, never again. So when I'm booked and I'm like fully booked, I'm just like, okay, you're gonna go with grandma for a little bit until mama makes her points. Cause fuck, no, it's fucking stress the fuck out. Like, I was just like, oh my God, like, and then right now, like at the nail shop, I was at the nail shop. He was crying for a little bit, but he did super good. Let me tell you, my baby did so good. Like, no, you know, he only cried like two times. Oh my God, but when he was crying, fuck girl, I felt more like, more nervous than a DD, like a DEA raid in the pad. I was just like, like, me puse como nerviosa, como like those are here probably judging me or something like that. But at the end of the day, I like, I cleared my mind and said, you know what, fuck what these people think. He's a baby, he's gonna cry. So like, good thing, I don't, I'm not those type of mom on the whole llorar, llorar, no, no, no. But um, like, tampoco like, I'm a chiquialo tanto, you feel me? But yes. So my my baby girls, I wanna be get pregnant. I mean, think about it twice, homegirl. Let me tell you, think about it twice because ya no puedes estar como like, oh, let me get up and ready, or let me go leave, or let me go do this. You know, like, oh no, mija, ya es donde está la pañalera. Es esta, es es. Well, me, I like to warm up his bottle. So, do I have warm water? 
Is there formulas? Is there diapers? Is there wipes? Is there extra clothes? And then it's him and then girl, let me shower. You don't shit the same. You don't shower the same. You don't do shit the same no more. But I just think about it and I'm like, okay, when my baby crece, like when he's big, you know, when he's like four, three, five, you know, like lo va a ser curiosito, you know, like to be like, damn, that's my baby, that's my baby boy, you know, like yo lo creí. I raised this fool and you know and it's cute because right now I'm not as me not sentiendo like him. Se anda riendo mucho como yo. Like I have a stupid laugh, like like I just laugh like oh like you know like toda mensa. And that's how he has it. It's cute, like the it is como like no muy orgullosa que es tu bebé. Boy, that clap just fit the bitch. Hopefully he doesn't stop me because I I have tinted windows and I always give me a fucking ticket. My second fucking ticket. Yep. So, so yeah, I mean, it's hard, but it's gonna be worth it a lot. But yeah, towards the end, you know, you're gonna feel orgullosa de tu hijo, but I mean. But what else could I say? Um, yeah, I'm just proud. Like, you know, 2019 showed me the fuck a lot. Like, a lot of shit, you know? Me enseñó. Ooh, valió verga. Okay, we're good, we're good! Flip the bitch. Okay, so 2019 taught me a lot of shit, you know? There's people que vienen en tu camino. No pa' quedarse. You get me? Not to stay there for the rest of your life, but they show you something, you know? You get me? So, me, don't get me wrong, you guys probably, like, I have a lot of people that are like, oh my god, like, on Instagram, because I'm really, like, really, like, personal about my Instagram, pongo lo que yo, me da puta gana, whatever. You know, some people message me, like, fuck, if this happened to me, like, I would have been down. I tell them, like, oh, fuck, una de veces me, me marro un puto huevo, and I'm like, fuck, no, like, you know. You guys, because mucha gente, mucha muchachas, nowadays, no se valoran como una mujer, you know, like, I'm 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 just I'm not gonna say like oh like todo que pongo on social media is is fucking the shit you know like no like like oh or, or they're, they're probably gonna be like oh esta siempre anda bien ella ella no se aguita no fuck no you know días donde ando hasta la chingada you know and I'm just like fuck you know over all, all this bullshit pero y luego hay unos días donde digo what the fuck estoy with de, de esta like de este problema, like, no, a la verga, me maro un puto huevo y sigo adelante porque la vida no se acaba, la vida no se termina y pues acá, acá, estar acá, otro lado, sigo mi paso y voy a sacarme y a mi hijo por mi gusto, porque, remember this, karma es una hijo de su chica puta madre, karma viene y karma se va, y como hay, hay karma mala también hay karma buena. You know, so por eso no me estreso tanto porque yo digo, ahorita ando a, ah, you know, por acá, ah, por ahí. Y luego, ya más adelante, pues ahorita me va un poco bien. No me falta de comer, como en unos lugares donde me da mi puta gana. Puedo trabajar cuando a mí me da mi puta gana. Puedo andar acá, puedo andar allá. Y gracias por mi Diosito y mis amoritas, pues... Pero nunca sabes el día de mañana si va a ser igual. Mejor está más mejor o está más peor. Pero en los momentos más bajos son los momentos donde miras y fijas quién son tus realidades, amigos o la gente que están ahí por ti. You get me? Because you could be there for a motherfucker. Puedes andar por, con un player ahí, you know, una plebe, una muchacha o like a friend that you have. Puedes estar ahí con ella to her fucking worst, right? But el día que tú le marcas y tú le dices, hey, qué rollo, like, you know, this and this, like, fuck, you know, like, oh, come through, like, you know, me siento deprimida, or like, fuck, you know, like, I need your help, like, how I helped you, I expect you to help me. Y tú miras el día que te mandan a la fregada, o que te digan, oh, you know, like, I can't, or, or you know, like, oh, you know, like, oh, this and that. Then, you realize who the fuck is there, y... 
no te voy a decir, ah, va a ser mariposa, si vas a decir, oh, pues no es mi amiga, a la verga. No, claro que no, vas a tener tus momentos donde you're gonna be like, fuck, you know, like, fuck you, I was there for you, like, this and that, te vas a sentir, te vas a, te vas a sentir de lo gacho. Pero, como digo, hay buena karma y mala karma. Y as long as you knew you were a hundred with somebody and you knew that you got somebody's back and they fucked you over, girl, that's a loss for them. Because let me tell you, in esta vida no hay amigos. Hay amistades, hay pasatiempos, y hay otras cosas, ¿verdad? Pero no se me agüiten, plebes. Ustedes siguen su camino. And somebody don't want to talk to you? Shit, all right. Cool, bye, bitch. I have a fucking 2020 coming. Don't hit me up in 2021 when you see me living good. All right. So, you guys, with my palette, that's already you know, kind of crusty. You know, I've been having this bitch for years. Well, year. Two years, won't it? So, I'm just going to go in with these two shades that I always go in. And I'm just gonna bronze my face. Um, you guys, this brush, I love using this brush for like bronzing, contouring. I think I got it from, um, I think it was Daisy. Daisy Marcus, like, she would post it a lot back then. Woo, like two, three years ago. And like I would say that she'll be like, oh, I live for this one. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go see what's the hype. And it's good so far. Sí me gusta. So I'm just gonna do something really. Dude, you guys, look at this scar that I have right now. It's like a fucking scratch. So as you guys can see on um, the lash plug back here, I just put these, I'm gonna put these eyelashes on. They're from Beauty Creations. They're in the style drama. They're like this. I'm gonna show you guys a little preview. They're a little bit long, but let me tell you, a bitch is gonna look bomb. So no me voy a cerrar. No me voy a that because I'm gonna fucking do it. Even though I look so natural, so I'm gonna kinda look a little bit funny, but the longer the lash. I don't know. The longer the life. Ah. <laughs> the longer the life for these boys. <laughs> so I'll be back when I'm done with this. So what I want to talk about is about 2020. You know, what I want to achieve. What I want to do. Okay, for 2020, my first thing is I want to get my shit more together. I want to promote my brand more. I want it to get more known than it already is. Um, I want to have more clients for 2020. I want to have my own brand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, so like this mirror right here, this mirror is actually my mirror. It's um, stamped with my logo and everything. So I want to come out with maybe palettes, lashes, you know, I just want to do the best for me because if I do the best for me and my store. I do the best for my little family, which is my kid, you know? So I wanna just achieve everything. And I'm starting to sell like these headbands. Look at how cute. They're like little pearls with diamonds. I only sell it from $9. And you guys, this shit looks so fucking bougie. It makes you look like, let me show you. <clears throat> oh, she's cute or whatever. She's cute, está bonita, su hair. Fuck, bitch, I'm fucking <laughs> sorry. I try to make myself look ugly, but pero no soy fea. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But you know, but then this makes you look like, oh, she's balling. She got money. She got a cute headband. Wait, is that fucking 14? Whatever the fuck, carrots. <laughs> so I just want the best for me for 2020 and i want to show you guys my store it's been two fucking years that i haven't posted anything on my youtube channel 
So I just want to tell you guys, um, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys have any ideas for me, please let me know, you know, like, do you guys want to watch challenges? Because that's what I, I had on my channel back then, but I deleted the videos because then I got me ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, put his shit on blast. He made me delete them. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just wanted to like challenges, maybe cooking videos because I love to cook. I love to cook, but um, what am I gonna cook for? Um, just I want I want to um show I wanna just film my life now, so I could look maybe five years from now, two years, three years, I might become someone kind of big, known maybe, you know, if I focus on it or watch. I want you guys to um. Watch me grow into a, become a beautiful person. Successful, maybe wealthy with money. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to show you guys my video. And I'm talking about me. Um, so yeah. So also, if you guys really like this video, you know, give a thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, give it the thumbs down. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Because <laughs> people do thumbs down my shit. I'm just like, fuck, hater. <laughs> or, um like it send it out to a friend you know maybe you guys know me from high school and you're like oh shit look at her now you know um what else what else what else um like this video subscribe to my channel if you really like me I'm, like i said i'm a super dope girl um something else <laughs> mm, i'm one of a kind my personality is dope as fuck I'm really humble, but yeah, me puedo creer un poco, pero no tanto. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if you guys want to subscribe, if you like this, also follow me on my Instagram. My personal one is makeup period by period Paola P A O L A. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you guys want to follow my store, it's actually located in Balflower, California. My my Instagram for my store is KP underscore makeup studio you guys check out my work i'm really talented eh? <laughs> so that's it for the vlog um i'm gonna just show you guys my store and then the video is gonna be over um but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys think good about me or i hope you guys enjoyed really this video and hopefully you fuck with me like i'll fuck with you back um so i hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful video you know like a little bit behind the scene about my life my personal life what i do i mean this is just <laughs> like okay but sometimes i go out so i might bring you guys along um if you guys have more ideas like i said let me know but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to me Follow me on my Instagram. Follow my store account Instagram. And like I said, hopefully further on to 2020, we could do the best. Just cross your fingers. Ojalá que todo me salga bien como yo quiero. But yeah, I love you guys so much. <laughs> y como siempre, how I always say goodbye to you guys. You already know. Adios! <laughs> so you guys... This is how my store looks from the outside. So now it is time to go inside. So the first thing you see is a mirror. Cute, it's a full body mirror vanity. I have my Santo right here. When you walk in, these are the baskets. A little, you know, crystal for good luck. And then I have a glitter bar. You guys. Makeup kits up here. This is like skincare. Brushes, primers, more eyeshadow palettes, as you guys can see. Concealers, foundations, beauty blenders, lip liners, lipsticks, brushes, and the headbands. And 
and then of course my baby's right there you guys and then my flowers um well my theme is like dead flowers i love dead flowers as you guys can see i have them everywhere And of course, when I first opened, you guys, okay, my phone was so empty. <laughs> Aww. So, like, you guys. 